Welcome to the IMC Studio tutorial. Data saving is a central element when making productive tests and measurements. With IMC products, you have several different options for saving data. For instance, you can save the measurement data directly in the measurement device and or you can save it onto the PC. With IMC Studio 5.0, you now have even more options for saving data. So let's go ahead and get started. We have already configured two channels under the Analog Channel tab and checked the boxes to save the data on the PC. We now change to the Panel page where, as you can see, we already have our channels displayed in a curve window and now we will start the measurement. Because we have configured the measurement time, it will conclude after five seconds automatically. On the right hand side in the data browser, we can find our folders where the measurement data are saved. If you right click on the folder, you are able to rename it. For example, here we will call it tuning fork. Now if we click on the Explorer folder PC, we can now see that our folder was not only renamed in the IMC Studio data browser, but also permanently renamed in the PC. Now we will close the window. In IMC Studio 5.0, you also have the possibility to save the current measurement data. As the button reads, this function only saves the current measurement data and not the entire measurement itself. For example, if you are using triggering functions, these events wouldn't be saved. The only thing that is saved with this function are the current measurement values themselves that are in the RAM. This is related to the circular buffer time settings, which are back in the setup plugin and are independent from checking the box Save Measurement Data. Now we will go back to the panel plugin. An additional possibility to rename your folders is to create a new variable by clicking on this button. For example, string gauge test. This type of variable will be text and then we'll click on OK. We can now find our new variable under the user defined selection. Using drag and drop, we bring it to the panel page and display it as edit box. Now we open the properties and we will type in the title strain gauge test. Because we want to measure the vibration, we leave the design mode and type tuning fork vibration into the edit box. Now we will make a few changes to the size of the text box. And then under Extras, we can click on Options. And now we have the possibility to create a measurement storage area. Here we can select any path on the PC to store the data. But in this demonstration, we leave it as it is. Or here, under User Defined Measurement Folder Structure, we can use the variable we created previously. We can then select strain gauge test as the value and we select no formatting. As you can see in the previous box, uh, in the preview box that is, we can find the path we used before. But now the additional edit box script tuning fork vibration appears. Now we click on OK to make the change and then we save the settings. Now, when we once again start the measurement, we now see in the data browser our new folder, Tuning Fork Vibration. If you want to perform additional tests, let's say for instance, a maximum strain test, you can simply enter that name into the edit box.
We now once again start the measurement. The measurement runs again for five seconds. And now we can find the folder, maximum strain test, directly under our folder, tuning fork vibration. That's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for your attention and stay tuned for the next IMC Studio tutorial.